Okay, boys and girls. This morning, we're going to look at two videos. One is central angles and one is inscribed angles. The first one, we're just going to review central angles. You guys were doing pretty well with central angles yesterday. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one. So just recall that in a central angle, the angle and the arc are congruent. Okay. And what makes it central is the vertex is in the center of the circle. The vertex lies in the center of the circle. And when that happens, the angle formed and the arc are congruent. So therefore, the answer to this, what is this arc measure, would be 127. Okay? So similarly, I'm giving you the arc. So what's the measure of the angle? It would be 130 because this is a central angle. Okay? All right, so let's go down to one that um, it's a little bit more, not complicated, but just you have to maybe do another step. So we're asked to find L-I-K. So L-I-K would be this angle. I'm sorry, this arc. And we want to find that entire measurement. So what we know, uh, we talked about this a little bit the other day, that these two angles are what we call vertical angles. So if this angle is 75 degrees, this angle is 75 degrees, which make this arc 75 degrees. So if I want to find LIK, LIK would be all of the circle except 75. So LIK would be 360, because that's the entire circle, minus 75 degrees. So that would be, if I can do that on my calculator right quick, because I don't feel like doing it in my head, 360 minus 75, that would make LIK equal to 285. Now you have an answer bank, so I would suggest that you use your answer bank to, um, to check your answers. Here we're looking for LHJ. So LHJ would be this measure. I'm going to let you figure that one out. I just wanted to help you out with that. In problem number 11, we're asked to simply find x. Okay? So how could we find x? Well, we need to find the measure of this angle or the measure of that arc. And what we know is that this arc measure would be 360 minus the remaining arcs. This little red in the middle indicates that this is 90 degrees. So that means that the arc would be 360 minus 119 minus 90 minus 30 minus 35. So if I, my, calcu uh, my phone keeps turning off every time I stop using it. So I would do 360 minus 119 minus... 90 minus 30 minus 35 and I get 86 so that means this measure is 86 indicating that 29 X minus 1 equals 86 so 29 X is equal to 87 Um, so then we'd have 87 divided by 29, which is 3. So we get x is equal to 3. Okay, so you want to finish those up. Um, for this one, we know that this is a diameter. So because this is a diameter, this measure would be 180. So <clears throat> the measure of 8x plus 11 would be 105 minus 180, 180, sorry, 180 minus 105, which is 75. So then I would have to say that 8x plus 11 is equal to 75. And I'll let you solve that on your own. I did want to do 17 
because it's asking for something different. It's actually asking for the angle measurement, not for X, okay? So how do I find this angle measurement? Well, again, this is a diameter. So as I go all the way around, this has to equal to what? That's correct, 180. So my equation would be 13x minus 3 plus 10x plus 5 plus 40. All of this has to equal to 180. So now I can solve for x. So I have 23x. Uh, minus 3 and 5 is 2 plus 40, so plus 42 equals 180. Uh, using my equation solving skills, I would subtract 42 from both sides, and I would get uh, 180 minus 42 is 138, so I'll have 23x is equal to 138, and then I divide by 23, and I hope my math was correct. And I get x is equal to 6, but that's not my answer. My answer is what is the measurement of WYV? So what is the measurement of this angle? So how would I find that? Because I'm looking for just this angle. Well, I would take x equals 6, and I would substitute it in for 13. I'm sorry, and for x. So I would have 13 times 6 minus 3. Oh, I did something wrong. Let me do that again. <laughs> so I have 13 times 6 minus 3. So I have this angle, the actual measurement of that angle is 75 degrees. Okay? So that's how I would find that. <clears throat> so remember, in these, we have to go through and find the actual measurement of the angle. Uh, let's do one more. <clears throat> so on this one, we're still looking for the measurement of ji so we're looking for this angle and we still have to find x <clears throat> so what do we know to do that we know this is 120 uh what else do we know we know that if this is 120 right because this is a diameter if this is 120 then this has to be 60, because 120 plus 60 is 180, and that's a diameter. <clears throat> okay, so what that means on this side is that if I look at this diameter, then the three of these have to be 180. So I would have 60 plus 7x plus 9 plus 6x plus 7 has to equal to 180. And then I would solve for x. And once I solve for x, I would have to substitute that back in to get the angle. Okie dokie. All right. And so again, you have an answer bank. So finish this, this, these 20 problems. Once you finish these 20 problems, come back and watch the second video. Okie dokie, boys and girls. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.